Hey everybody, it's Joe from greenlightsound.com and today we've got a really quick tip on how to deal with multiple mono files. Sometimes when you're getting files to mix or you're getting files from a client, it will have exported from a DAW as multiple monos. For example, if you have drum overheads, a stereo drum overhead track, it may export as overhead left, overhead right, two mono files. You don't want to process each mono file separately. There's a few other ways of working around it within your DAW. You could bust them, you could do some other workarounds for creating stereo tracks out of them, but there's a really quick and easy way to doing it using PreSonus's batch converter. So what we've got to do first is drag some tracks in here. And here I've got a full session of tracks. So I'm going to select them all and then drag them right into the source files area. Once they're in there, all you need to do is select a process. There's a whole bunch of things you can do with this program but one of them is Merge Mono Files. I drag that in the process rack. When I do that, this process blue button highlights so I can now process these tracks. You can choose what location to put it in, output location being the source folder. If you uncheck that, you could select your own separate folder to output into. For now, I'm gonna keep it in the source folder. So now all you have to do is click the process button and it will work on them and you can see it going through each track right here. One of the cool things is you noticed I imported all the tracks of this session, including the non-stereo files. So I have typical mono files here, and this knows to process only the actual stereo files I need, which is pretty cool. And we'll fast forward through this for a minute as it goes through this process, which takes about a minute more. So there you go, all finished. It took about a minute and 20 seconds total to get through all these tracks, over a hundred tracks select which ones are actually the stereo tracks and process them there. Our result files are right down here. If I want to find it easily, I can right click it, show in Finder on a Mac, and there it is, my stereo file. It's a little bit confusing sometimes when they're in the same source folder as what we started with because I have my two multiple mono files here and my stereo right below. We can tell that by the fact that the file size is twice as big over here. If I want to easily find them, I just can, click, can just click on file size here and then all my Output stereo tracks are already right there and easy to find. So there it is, a real quick and easy way of dealing with multiple mono files to be able to process them easier when you're mixing. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you in the next one.